so the icons are like the the rulers of the world, right? They're the arch villains like the Lich King or the Three Dragons, or they're the you know heroic champions of civilization like the Archmage or the Emperor. So don't, they don't get murdered in like the casual course of play. They get murdered as part of like a campaign shifting event. But the, one of the reasons that it's the 13th age is that there are all these distinct ages that each sort of start and grow and eventually reach some sort of cataclysm and they're all different. And so your 13th age might end with a couple of the icons being destroyed or what have you. But, but that's sort of like a big campaign event that's not but you know, you're second level and you hear that the emperor was murdered and now your points are different. It's it's all it's sort of part of the big drama of the scene. I tend to think of them as like superheroes, superheroes like Doctor Doom, yeah. Kind of style or right. Doctor Alexander Strange. the Great or you know yeah. They're 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 tough but the, given the, the circumstances. The, the the point is that yeah. Traditionally, that role's been played by deities. Like, oh, exactly. okay, I want to be, you know, a, a, a cleric of Palor, and I'm, or even not a cleric of Palor. I want to worship Palor, so I'm going to do what Palor wants to do. But Palor is outside of the pale. Palor is, you know, beyond anything you're ever going to be involved with. And so, what this does is it brings them down a level, and they are the most powerful mortals in the world, but they're still the mortals. They still have kids. You might be the bastard child of the Emperor, that seems to come up a lot. <laughs> Pretty much every game.